Hi guys and welcome to the channel. 5800X3D is still one of the fastest gaming CPUs. It is the first processor with the AMD 3D cache technology with more level 3 cache that delivers increased performance in the games that can utilize it. Because of that 3D stacked cache and the fact that it is an 8 core CPU, it has some specifics that must be taken into account compared to other processors. At stock settings, 5800X3D runs hotter than many non 3D CPUs from the same generation. It can easily exceed 80 degrees during gaming or even its maximum operating temperature with heavy workloads. While this is absolutely normal for this processor and not something that can harm it in any way, the high temperatures usually lead to louder noise levels and inconsistent performance. But there is a very effective way to maximize the performance of the processor and to reduce its working temperature at the same time. This method or strategy is called undervolting. It works not only with 5800X3D but also with most CPUs from the last two AMD generations. 5800X3D manages its performance and power based on a frequency and voltage curve, which defines how much voltage should be used for specific frequency. Lower frequencies need less voltage and higher frequencies need more voltage. On the other hand, less demanding workloads usually use fewer cores at higher clock speeds. Heavier workloads may use all of the cores at lower frequency and with lower voltage. The CPU needs to work that way in order to stay within certain power and thermal limits. The idea behind undervolting 5800X3D is to adjust the voltage and frequency curve downwards so the CPU to use lower voltage at a certain frequency. This can be done with a curve optimizer feature which is a part of the AMD Precision Boost technology. By setting a negative offset you can undervolt the CPU. How much negative offset a CPU can handle before becoming unstable varies from chip to chip. You can start with negative 30 on all cores and run some stability tests and games. You don't want unstable system so even if it works fine at the beginning, make sure to do longer test sessions. In case you need an advice on how to test your system for stability, feel free to ask in the comments below. If your system begins to crash or has other kind of abnormal behavior, try negative 25, then negative 20 and so on until you reach the point when your system is stable. You can try with smaller steps or even set different values to each core but I think it's not worth the time. In most cases the result of the negative offset is higher average frequencies, which also means more performance. It may also lower the temperatures because of the reduced voltage at the same frequency. If you want to specifically target the CPU working temperature, this can be done by adjusting three very important power settings. PPT is the total power that the CPU can get from the socket. TDC is the maximum current that can be delivered to the CPU under sustained load. EDC is the maximum current for short periods of time. With these settings, you prevent the processor from reaching its power and thermal limits. How low well you need to set these settings depends on your temperature target and cooling. These are the default limits for 5800X3D. Let me show you some results with the custom settings, including curve optimizer that work great with my test unit. In Cyberpunk, the curve optimizer setting leads to higher average clock speed and increased performance. Even the temperatures are better. With the additional power optimization, the CPU runs consistently at its maximum frequency, further improving both performance and temperature. Forza Horizon 5 test shows the same trend. With the optimization the CPU can maximize its frequency and works at lower temperatures. The only reason why you don't see a performance improvement here is the GPU bottleneck. If you reduce the graphic settings or if you use a more powerful GPU you will also see FPS increase. Age of Empires 4 also shows great improvement after after the optimization, again with increased performance and much cooler CPU. In Fortnite there is more than 6% FPS improvement and the thermals are much better. Similar results can be achieved in many other games such as Diablo 4, Warzone 2, Overwatch 2, Apex Legends, New World and many others. This has been optimizing 5800X3D with curve optimizer and power settings. Hit the like button if the video was helpful to you and subscribe to the channel for more PC related guides and tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.